What's going on guys? Today we're going to be kicking off our part 3 of our playthrough series of Ghost of Tsushima. So with today's video I'd like to dive more into uh, the tales that we've been working on, particularly with Lady Masako. But after that we're eventually going to work off into these main story missions. Those are a little bit more kind of have relevance in terms of progressing through the main storyline and traveling throughout the map. Whereas these tails here are going to give us more kind of perks in terms of legend increases, armor, like you saw with the bow and the assassin's ability. So we got a little bit of a trek here. Just to go over kind of what we've done so far, covering up to this point. We've worked in the last episode, we worked with Sensei Shikawa, working to free his prodigy, as he says, Tamoe. I'm pretty sure that's a seven to nine part series that we'll eventually work through as we go through the storyline here. And then obviously before that we worked on Yuna's main storyline. And that's going to be where we actually will break off after this in terms of the blacksmith, which I believe is in regards to her brother. Okay, so it looks like we're coming up on a base here. And we got a bear. Uh, don't really want to fight this guy, but what, let's do it. Ooh. Get off my leg! Oh, man. Oh. I, well. All right, this didn't happen. We're just gonna start over here. All right, don't mess with the bear. So we have these side objectives when you go into different territories, like you can see on the side here. Defeat the Mongols. Bonus if you assassinate the enemies from above, three of them, and then finally observe the Mongol leader. I think I'm honestly just gonna do a standoff right here. here, and then. Mainly just want to get the, the leader and get the skill point here so we can kind of dive into the new stance of the round. This is going to be the water stance, the second of four stances we're going to unlock throughout the game. This one's going to be particularly effective against shields with its guard break. Just like the stone stance and all the other ones too, you're going to have different upgrades we can go through here. Again, not going to spoil them, but one of the better stances, especially early game with a lot of the shield enemies we go against. This helps kind of mitigate some of that slowdown you get with the heavy shield presence and allows you to kind of work through more hordes of individuals at a time. Now that we do have this skill point though, I think the goal is going to be try to just run away. Try to avoid any of the headaches that come with uh, not doing this mission properly. All 
All right, so diving back into the stances here, the water stance you can see he holds his sword a little bit above his head. In terms of his guard break movements, they're going to be a little bit different. His quick attacks are also going to be a little bit different, as well as obviously the thrusting move he has. And do a quick comparison here with the stone stance, same thing, you have your quick and your guard break attack. And then you're going to have your thrust attack. Remember to always clean your blade. And then since we have this yellow bird here, they have a pretty big significance in the game in terms of exploration and finding different markers. I'm not going to follow him all the way for the sake of time of this video, but he is in the same general directions. We'll just follow him for a little bit here. Look at these flowers. Be brave, Banta. We'll save you, my boy. Stop it, you animals! See these little incidents that you'll find across the map? My lord! I'm not going to dive into it, but... We'll kind of open you up and see what the cinematics are like and open up the storyline of it a little bit. They've taken the bridge! Tell me. We were running for Hiyoshi Springs. The bridge looked safe, but the Mongols were in the ravine. They, they, they started shooting from below. Someone's injured. Banta! My brother's boy! They're using him as bait. Tell your family to stay clear of the bridge. I'll stop this. Like I said, well, I won't dive into this one. It's going to interrupt the tale that we're already in the middle of. But like I said, you'll find these little incidents all across the map. They have a lot of fun, but for the sake of this series right now, we're going to focus on the main story, the tales, a little bit of the side breakout content as it comes around to us as we explore. But like I said, if that's what a lot of you would like to view or anybody want to see more of the sign content, we can do that towards the end. Or we can put an infusion of it. Man. But just let me know below. We'll cover more if that's what everyone wants to address. If not, we'll continue on the same kind of story path and we'll go from there. Just going to take in the daily scenery always. As we progress through the game, there is going to be fast travel options that you unlock. But to be honest with you, I personally enjoy a lot of the scenery in this game, and traveling from one spot to the next is always a more of a trek and a travel experience. If you guys feel like it clogs up the uh, material a little bit here, just let me know and we'll break off if that's the case. Like I said, we'll dive into side content as they come, and here's a fox then. So with these guys, you really just need to follow them around. I'm pretty sure we've done one. I can't remember, to be honest with you. But you're just going to follow them around. And as you follow them around, you just pay respects to the shrine. And from there, you're able to get the boost. We don't want to... Alright, it's just this guy. No, was that worth it, man? Kill someone, and then I'm going to pick some flowers and follow my fox friend in the woods. What a character arc we got here. Okay, so with the shrines complete, you get the minor charms. Uh, and as you go throughout the game, you can unlock more charm slots. And as you go through, you'll also unlock charms themselves, which have different skills, ability like runes and other games, different attachments and so forth. Let's go. They'll come with different perks in terms of health, ability, blocking, attacks, and all kinds of sound. It goes on for a while. And we'll dive into them as we continue like with everything else. So... It looks like these are ones where they have a lootable box. And that is way too easy. Sometimes with these, which sucks that this person is dead, but a lot of the times with these loot box situations and scenarios, you're also going to have a prisoner that you can free. 
And sometimes they'll give you some hidden information in terms of rumors and access to different missions and things across the map. Kill that person and drag him all the way up there. Alright, we're not far away now from the Adachi estate and we'll dive into Lady Moscow's story tale here. It's pretty dark and twisted, just a heads up. Pretty sad inception, but it's pretty common here in this feudal time of Japan. Lady Moscow should be here. Lady Masako, warriors of Clan Adachi, is anyone here? Kill him! Where's Lady Masako? Find out what happened here. Someone forced their way in. I need to know who did this. A Naginata. Used by the women of Clan Adachi, they fought to defend their family. They were trying to escape, pass the children through the window. If anyone survived, they may have fled on horseback. Better check the stables. Stables. Someone took the horses. Horse tracks. Someone fled the estate. They left a trail. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, follow the tracks. Footprints. The rider was being chased. Archers were hunting the rider. The rider was skilled, knew how to confuse their aim. A fallen Looks horse. Like ah, okay. So the blood scene we saw earlier was this horse. Somehow had rendered the blood, but not the actual this horse. This horse belonged to Clan Adachi. Dead for days. <laughs> Lady Muzzico, it's me. Jean Sakai. They said no samurai escaped Komoda. My husband. Lord Adachi died a warrior's death, defending our home. Our home. Why have you come? 
The Mongol Khan has captured Lord Shimura. If your clan joins me, we can save my uncle and avenge your men. Clan Adachi is dead. Massacred by our own people. Traitors. Why would they kill those who swore to protect them? I intend to find out. I'm coming with you. No. Do not set aside your concerns for mine. The family of samurai are my concern. I know what it means to be the last of one's clan. I cannot be responsible for your death. You won't be. Ride with me. I fought men at your estate. They were waiting to finish what they started. The night my husband and sons rode to face the Mongols. The assassins came to our home. My sister took the children and fled. I stayed with my son's wives to fight our attackers. We were outnumbered. And then I was the only one left. That's how it ended for me at Komoda. For me, it wasn't over. I buried them here, with the rest of our family. I tried to save them, but the assassins caught them on the road. Cut them down. My sister. My grandchildren. Even little Natsu. She was just born. All I could do was bury her with her mother. This never should have happened. My sister should have been buried with her husband in the north. But at least she is with a family. Like I said, the start of her story is Come. really dark. Uh, not, to, the golden temple. not to take away from that, uh, I want to break off here and show you guys this Traveler's Alpha Mechanic again. So like I said, as you get closer and closer, it'll, it'll beep and pulse in the controller and vibrate a little bit faster. Surprise! This is going to be one of those singing crickets. As you have upgrade and grab more of these across the map these are what's going to give you more options in terms of flute songs and i don't think i've mentioned already but the flute itself you are getting tired of the doom and gloom that comes with the, the heavy overcast that is shima island anytime you play the flute Sorry, it's supposed to change the level alone. at least to some extent the killers are alive had you seen these men before no they were from another prefecture we made a well-planned attack on a samurai estate. This was no bandit raid. Someone wanted to eliminate my clan. You'll have to go in without me. Find the monk named Sogen and tell him the fate of clan Adachi. What are you plotting, Lady Masako? Indulge a grieving widow. Once you've talked to Sogen, find the armorer. She is repairing something for me. I want you to have it. I will do that. Thank you. I will wait for you on the other side of the temple. So the Golden Temple has a lot of relevance in this story from start to finish. But just for when we're entering here, 
First thing you're going to notice it is an honor. of him actually and he'll kind of elaborate for us. Are you in charge here? I think of myself as more of a servant, my lord. Please, call me Junshin. I made this temple a haven for our people. I'll spread the word. If they cannot make the journey, there are also camps around Ariake. I supply them with all the food I can spare. That's good to know. I'm looking for one of your fellow monks, a man named Sogen. I believe he is sweeping the temple deck. Thank you, Junshin. Continue your good work. He's downplaying how much Junshin's doing for the community here, but... So you're gonna have a giving tree almost, kind of over here, in a sense. Lord Sakai! It's good to see you. Gonjiro, right? You served the Lord Nagao. He was a good man. I'm sorry we lost him. I'm honored you recall a humble household servant. So many of us here owe you our lives. I'm afraid the fight for our home is just beginning. That's why we want to help, my lord. People started donating what they could, and... Please, accept these gifts. Thank you, Gonjiro. And everyone else who contributed. We'll keep donating what we can, here and elsewhere, as word of your victory spread. May the Kami keep you from harm. So at the temple, you're going to have the gift altar, which I'll show you in a second, the boyer, the swordsmith, as well as the armor. We can actually go through just about all these upgrades, but I believe we're going to be going to the armor to continue this quest. So that'll be it at the end of this. But we'll start off with the altar, and then we'll work our way through them, and then we'll continue our mission with the armor and go from there. So before we go on, we'll go ahead and we'll look at what we just got from the gift altar and we'll dive more into the outfits and the equipment that we got so far. So the master guy was the hero Tsushima. It's probably one of the cooler masks in my opinion in the game. And then we have the broken armor we started with as well as the hero Tsushima armor. We're wearing the traveler's armor and like I've mentioned a couple times now. Right now we have the traveling clears 10% more fog on the map. As well as the controller will be within a 30 meter radius. You can eventually upgrade these and this will upgrade I believe. Uh, the next thing is the proximity or more of the fog will then clear. Let's kind of dive it in this like cleared out area you see when you're walking through the wider your cleared fog is the wider the path will be here so I believe okay So in order to upgrade, we gotta go to the armor. Forgot about that part. Help! This is where we need to go. My lord, you made it. But let's make our way around all these stalls first. I can help improve your blades, my lord. The katana of Clan Sakai, an exquisite weapon. You recognize it on sight? For me, every blade is unique, as recognizable as a person. Lord Sakai, bring the materials I need, and I would be honored to improve such a fine sword. All right, so we can already upgrade our katana. You like the finish. Goodbye. So you'll find swordsmiths all across the map, but they're going to be who you go to for your katana and your dagger upgrades. Oh look, it's uh, a... It's got to begin the game. You made it. We told you to come here. I came straight here. 
stayed off the roads, just like you said, Lord Sakai. I'm glad you got here safely. How is your little one holding up? He's braver than his father. People didn't believe it when I told them a samurai sent us here. Take care of yourself. And the little one. The people here don't have much to offer. But we'll do everything we can to help. See that? I told you. There's always hope. Soon, doesn't it? Man, as a father, that's pretty hard to see, but it's a true man right there. Are you Sogen? I am. I am Sakai, a samurai. Alive? I have a message from Lady Masako. Clan Adachi was attacked. She is the only survivor. The Mongols. Traitors. Our own people. How horrible. Has anyone suspicious passed through the temple? A group of armed men? Not that I've seen, but... My duties keep me far too busy. Please tell Lady Masako she's welcome to take refuge here. Thank you for your time. Of course. He's definitely giving off bad vibes. You seem troubled. What's wrong? I saw a terrible battle near Kuta Farmstead. Bandits and Mongols slaughtering each other. Normally I'd let them tear into each other all they want. But the violence may put others in danger. Keep away from there. I'll have a look. There's another rumor for us. Does your bow need work, my lord? I can make sure your bow is in the best possible condition. Whatever you can do, I'd appreciate it. The honor is mine. Just bring me the raw materials I need, and leave the rest to me. Good lord. That gift we got with the bamboo probably gave us enough here for an upgrade for the half bow. Tadayori Nagao would envy this bow. Thank you. Until next time. Okay, so the armor is our next objective, so this will be a two for one grab. But, again, gotta take it the sights. If you're not at least five to twenty times a playthrough taking the sights in, you're doing it wrong. But the samurai didn't fight alone at Komoda. I work on all kinds of armor. Lady Masako sent me. Said you were repairing something she wanted me to have. The armor. It's one of the finest sets I've ever worked with. Let me get it. It suits you perfectly, my lord. The quality is incomparable. It will serve you well, but if anything isn't to your liking, I can always make alterations. All I need are the right materials. Thank you. So new upgrades, moderate health amount, increase, taking damage, grants 15% resolve. I would put it back on, but it would probably be an insult right now to Lady Adachi. So normally I like the Traveler's Attire, but we're going to keep the clan armor on for now. We pray for your safety. You got the armor. It fits well. It belonged to my eldest, Shigesato. It is an honor. I spoke to the monk. What did Sogen say? He offers you refuge in the temple. 
So my family's killers know where to find me. We need to move. You think Sogan is behind the massacre? He visited my home just before the assassins. The little bastard was their scout. That doesn't prove his guilt. No, but it earns my suspicion. Sogan arrived from Kamiagata at the beginning of autumn. When we first heard the Mongols plan to invade. The plot to destroy my clan took precision, planning. And a wall to cover the treachery. I don't know if it looks like shit and smells like shit. Good chance it probably is shit. Where is that monk? There's Sogan, leaving in a hurry. Let's follow the wolf to his den. We can get down here. You sent me to frighten the monk. I knew he would panic, make a mistake. Now he's leading us to his friends. Stay close. We can't be seen. Can't forget supplies. I wonder if anyone saw me leave. Hide. Did he see us? I don't think so. He's moving again. Let's go. Guess the deer on our friend here. friend. Masako's alive. She has a samurai with her. Hmm. That must be who killed our men at the estate. You fools. Now they know I'm part of this. You have to find them. Keep your voice down. I'm going inside. Don't come back until they're dead. Those men slaughtered my family. Spare the monk. The rest can die. Stand and fight me! This will make for a grand So movement is extremely important in this game, I just like this. A lot of times in these groups, they will have no honor and they will easily kill Sadie's back. Okay. Gotta slow it down a little bit here. Because I don't want to get killed again. 
about that that would have hurt man bare skin clanging off the blade so nothing on the base floor here we'll go up there's nowhere to run Sogan you destroyed clan Adachi I was only a messenger for who? Knowledge does not end suffering. You know nothing of suffering. Masako. I buried my family. One by one. It took days. But I'm going to leave you for the wolves. We need him alive to tell us who he serves. Our world has changed. Men of vision must rise to face it. And those in the way must be removed. They were children! <laughs> Masako! He, he was never going to talk. We still need information. There has to be something we can use. Search outside. I'll deal with things in here. Find me when you're done. Well, that was pretty insane to witness there. I don't know that I really want her to support me in battle, but maybe, I don't know. Spare weapons. They expected reinforcements. They've run out of food. Must have been here a while. Hmm. Names. And a symbol. Masako might know them. Yeah. Uh, anything. yeah, I found some kunai. A list of names and a clan symbol. I found the same symbol on these men. I've never seen it before. A rival clan moving in to take control. We have to stop them. I will. You cannot do it alone. When my uncle hears of this, he will not rest until the traitors pay for what they did. Help me, and we will bring down everyone who hurt you. Together. When you need help rescuing your uncle, I will be there. Thank you, Lady Masako. Until that time, I have work to do. Pretty crazy stuff there, huh, Nubu?
Okay. So it looks like with our next upgrade point, it's also you can take into account you can upgrade those uh, guiding winds and they'll direct you, give you the, at least the ability to direct you towards different charms, shrines. Windsor Resolve, all the different things that you can do around the map. I mean, honestly, yeah, let's go and do that. We'll throw an additional one, can I? That's pretty huge in uh, large battle interactions when you're getting swarmed. And then we'll go ahead and do the ability to parry incoming arrows. So with this, all you gotta do, you don't have to actually parry it. You're just gonna have to hold L1. That's assuming you don't want to dodge. You'll probably catch me dodging for the most part, but I'll make sure to demonstrate the block on our next opportunity here. So we'll go ahead and we'll demonstrate what it's like to go into a Mongol territory. So that wraps up the first part of Lady Adachi, and I believe hers was a nine sequence series too. Uh, but we're going to wrap this episode up going over one of these territories and then setting us up for a larger one to actually liberate. I believe the one nearby is going to be a dojo. And actually. I'm Come on. So as you can see, the upgrade there kind of indisposes all three at the same time. And I'm able to go through. He's still staggered just through all three of them. Alright, so this is another one of those carts that you'll see. They have some collectibles on the inside. This one's leather. Like I said, ideally I'd like to see... Looks like we got more. I'd like to see one where they have a prisoner, so you could actually see that dialogue that happens. I'm going to finish the job, we'll help him out. Ooh. Ooh. Big boy had a lot of energy there. Alright, so we'll demonstrate that. As you can see, you just hold the block, L1 option. And it bounces right off. Okay, just for sorry. I was having some PTSD from that bear earlier. We need a nighttime exploration. All has its own perks. Scenery's great. Sounds. About 200 meters out here. You. Okay. So. This is actually the one that we were working on earlier. So we'll back up a little bit here. See if we can actually do this the right way. Uh, 
looks like we got another cage or a cricket up here, so we'll work our way around there too. Okay, come back. There's the leader. I'm gonna try to attempt to observe him. I'm pretty sure that's one of the objectives here. Thinking they want me to go around. Okay, so we'll just work our way around the side here and then we'll kind of come from top down. I think I'm gonna be able to drop down from here. Put something. Um, yeah, as you'll see throughout this game, bandits will also come at the worst possible times. Alright, we'll see what we can do here. So a major fallout. Yeah, pretty easy mechanic with the L1 blocking those out. Okay, so I think we're good now. We should still be able to pull off these objectives. So, actually what I'm, it's looking like is I don't think we're going to be able to have enough people to finish all the objectives here. Those bayonets going to screw us out of this situation. I can't remember when you're doing them whether or not you have the option to replay or not, which we'll revisit after this. So we'll get the observe in real quick. And this is a good way to get doubled up on your points when we're trying to get new stances. You're going to get a point for the observation. You're going to get a point for the takedown as well. Okay, let's see if we can get a two-for-one deal here. No. Oh. I don't know how I missed that one. Come on, let's do this. Whew, that was the light one. Alright. Now that we got that over with. Be able to go get that collectible as well. Pick up some supplies here. So like I said, there'll be a fast travel option once you complete some of these territories. If you guys would prefer me to cut down on some of the travel time, we could focus on those if you'd like as we progress through the story. In terms of next spot we'll travel to, it looks like a pretty sizable camp there. So this should be one of the bigger strongholds that we can go for and it helps us with liberation. This looks like a prisoner option, so we'll be able to see what I was talking about earlier. Okay, 
That was a pretty filthy gun, though. So the gar break, even with the berserker guys, the larger ones here, is going to be effective as long as you're in the water stands. You'll be free soon. I thought all the samurai died at Komoda Beach. It's terrible, my lord. They're cutting down our forest to repair their ships. Where? A logging camp near the eastern coast. Okay, so now we got another one. I'm a big fan of the stand-up streak, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. It's going to allow you to uh, do more than one at a time. Eventually, I think it scales up somewhere around like three to five. So when you save some of those prisoners in those situations there, sometimes they'll give you tips and locations around the map, like the rumor system we've seen. And other times they might also reward you with some kind of resource, whether it be cotton, linen, iron, and so forth. So this is one of the bigger Mongol territories. This is going to be the Ogawa Dojo. And like you can see, it's going to give you a pretty moderate legend increase. Two gold, which will be valuable as we continue on, as well as a technique point. Uh, obviously, this is going to have to be the end of this video. But in part four, what we'll do is we'll open up with that. Maybe go into the second one here and talk about destroying the logging camp. And then I think after that, what we'll end up doing is we'll go down and work on the blacksmith option and help with Yuna's brother. So, like of anything, if you guys have anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to see more, so just comment down below. Hope you guys have enjoyed this, and if you have, please don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.